I'm Molly McHugh for Digital Trends, and I'm gonna take you hands-on with the Canon PowerShot D20. This is the latest uh, tough cam from Canon, and like you can see, it's got a really different design than most of the things in this segment that we see. It's a little bit smoother and sleeker. Uh, and in addition to being waterproof, shockproof, and freeze-proof, there are a ton of features in here like filters and a manual shooting mode as well. The obvious draw here is what you can do to this camera, how far you can drop it, how deep underwater it'll work. The D20 can sustain a 5-foot drop and works up to 33 feet underwater. Its build is ready to sustain all of this. It's hefty, it's pretty thick, and all of the buttons and controls are big and easy to manage. Like with most tough cams, the battery and SD card slot are somewhat difficult to get to, but that's in an effort to protect them. The zoom toggle is also a little unfortunately small here, and it's actually two buttons. This is to make room for the three inch LCD screen and give the function, menu, and navigation buttons some more room, but it's still a little bit awkward. The wristband connects to the camera with this removable accessory. It's a little strange and it gives it a weird shape but this thing already has a pretty unconventional design and it means you can remove the wrist strap really easily. Canon has always done a really good job of making its camera menu easy to manipulate. You rely mostly on the function button as well as the auto slash camera button to choose between filters, preset modes, or manual settings. For filters, all the usual suspects are there like toy camera, miniature, and fisheye. The D20 has a 12.1 megapixel CMOS sensor and uses the Digic 4 image processor. Processor power-wise, this is a step down from quite a few of its new point-and-shoots are using, so don't expect quite as high of a performance in the D20. Recycle time, power up, and powering up to shoot time is relatively slow. Image quality is good, but not outstanding, as it usually is in a tough cam. It's the extras that sell this thing, like really good underwater shots, GPS, and a surprisingly sharp lens. It will definitely get the job done for your ordinary stills and you'll still have a little room to exercise your skills. But a DSLR in point and shoots clothing, this thing is not. The camera sells for 350, which is steep but fairly average for a tough cam. The underwater macro shots are surprisingly clear compared to other results I've seen, and this is one of the main reasons people buy tough cams in the first place. Couple that with an incredibly intuitive system and the D20 starts to make a lot of sense. You're going to sacrifice speed and it's not the best for video recording since shooting full 1080p HD is limited to 24 frames per second, but as far as tough cams go, it's a solid bet, especially if you're familiar with Canon point and shoots. 